up everybody what the fuck is going on welcome back to cooking with bird martinez the one the only bird motherfucking teenagers beach what's up everybody how's everybody doing i hope you're doing good i hope um you know we're getting we are gonna get through this you know what i'm saying i know people are fucking dying and shit <clears throat> but if you haven't died just protect yourself don't go out Wash your hands, wash that ass. You know what I'm saying? Eat those beans, eat whatever the fuck you have at home. Um, This girl named Jess, she sent me um a list of vegetables that last the most time. And it's potatoes, um, pinche mansa, apples. Um, I bought most of them cabbage. Cabbage, I noticed that lasts me three weeks. You know what I'm saying? And what else, what else? <coughs> Have another thing, but yeah, buy potatoes because potatoes you could make as the French fries, you could make um tacos de papa, you know, just in case, just in case some shit happens. But I feel in my heart, you know, I usually go by my gut. I feel in my heart, in my little tiny heart, that things are gonna be okay, bitch. I'm serious. So, um, whenever you're feeling nervous, when you're feeling scared. Just be like, you know what? Burr says everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. And that's what I tell myself. And I really believe it. And it is what it is. And if some shit happens, if I die, just remember that I told you everything's going to be okay. Because at the end of the day, if we die, we're going to go to heaven. Or some of, us, some of us to hell. But we're going somewhere. Okay, bitch. Let me give my little shout outs. Okay, shout out to Vanessa and Jay. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to Rich Torres. His grandpa made tortillas, flour tortillas, but how many, nine years ago he passed away. So every time, you know, he thinks about flour tortillas, he remembers his grandpa. And you know what I'm saying? I am gonna make a, a video of tortillas, flour tortillas. But that one I wanna make it with Sophia and Mandy. And right now the girls over there chilling with their dad. And I told them I'm gonna make some arroz con leche. And they're like, okay. And I'm like, bitches viejas nomás, they just let me go. So when they, we make videos together, it's usually like, I'm like, okay, girls, I'm gonna make a video. And they're like, mommy, mommy, can I go? I never tell them like, oh, let's make a video. Like, let's do this. Because I feel like I don't want to pressure them to do anything they don't want to do. If si se quieren acercar, que se acerquen. Si no, pues chingue su madre. But anyways, bitch. Um, let's do this. So... For arroz con leche, me quiero casar con una morenita de la capital. Que sepa coser, que sepa bordar, que sepa las tablas de multiplicar, bitch. I don't know, I don't really, really know. But every time I make arroz con leche, I want to sing that song. So, for arroz con leche, of course, my little horse, we're going to need some arroz. And here we go. This one is non-brand. It's from the Cucaracha. It is what it is. Um, I'm gonna show you how much I'm gonna use. I also wanna use milk for that ass. Two percent milk, vitamin D milk, vitamin D for that ass. Also, we're gonna use, of course, canela. I'm gonna use lechera. So I usually use both of them, the condensed milk and the other one. This other milk but today i only have this one and i'm not about to go to the store just to get you know sometimes if i'm gonna be making videos you guys are gonna have to you know let me work with what i got and sometimes i'm not gonna have this i'm not gonna have that but i'm still gonna make a video for you guys because that's what i'm here for to motherfucking entertain that ass oh somebody sent me um on my fucking estate under my comments i still have to write to you back he said wouldn't it be cool if I was like in a stage or somewhere, people like sitting and like me cooking and just making motherfuckers laugh. And then at the end of the show, you guys could have my food. You know how fucking dope that would be? You know, like people do like com comedy shit. It would be comedy, but with food. It's so perfect. So motherfucking perfect. Also, what if one day I get to write a book? And I've always wanted to write a book but with cursing, like, like real Mexican food. And talking shit. Oh my god, that would be so cool. I don't know. You never know. A girl might reach her dream one day. Your girl might reach her dream one day. One day. Also, I'm gonna use piloncillo, brown sugar cane. 
I don't know. This gives it like a little, like a little flavor, flavor. So let's do this. I'm gonna clean the rice first. Somebody asked me, why do you clean your rice? Um, because you're supposed to clean stuff. I sometimes I wouldn't clean my rice because I was like, it's already in a bag. Who cares? It's not that deep. But then, um, I also noticed that when you clean it, it gets fluffy. It gets soft. So. I'm gonna fill it up up to here and that's my measurement I'll show you guys how much water I'm gonna use from in so you guys know I feel like this is a good breakfast in the morning not like a big real breakfast but like in the morning or like at night you know you just get um, some arroz con leche and you like eat a bolillo and everything's gonna be all right mm -hmm. so we're gonna watch it how does my butt look? I'm covering my butt. So we're just gonna wash it. And then we're gonna put it to the side. Okay, I need something. I need a fan. I'm gonna put it like this. It's like start draining. Oh, I got myself some, some garbanzos. I love garbanzos. So you just put them in the comal, you toast them. You put some lemon on that ass. See, I already have it ready. And then um, some Valentina. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bitch, today I was trying to record a damn bird. The one that goes, ooh, 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 ooh. He doesn't go like exactly like that, but he goes, ooh, 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 ooh. Like that. And the motherfucker, I was recording, and then when I got there, it went, it went quiet. And then I tried to record again, and it went, I turned on my phone and went, ooh. Are flat today. Oh my god. Oh my god. I look like a little boy. <laughs> no mommy way. What happened? What happened to you? What happened to you? Let's do this. Put some water in the okay. casserole. Now I'm gonna get this bitch right here and I'm gonna crack them. That makes it like like the odor come to life or some shit. I don't know. You know see estoy de mamona aquí. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm gonna throw the piloncillo up in that ass. And I'm gonna let it melt. Yo ahora si le voy a echar arroz. So like the, the the flavor of this goes into the rice. It's all gonna remix to the remix to the remix mix. So, um, you guys know that I have a sister that lives in Mexico, right? And um, she grew up over there because my mother, when she came when she came to America, my sister was little. And I feel like okay, I love my grandma and everything. But my grandma, instead of, you know, my mom wanted to bring my little sister, my big sister to America. But my grandma was like, oh, we're going to go to the city because my mom's from a rancho. We're going to go to a city and we're, we'll be there for a little bit. And then I'll come back before you, you know, you go take the bus to the, to a DF to cross the border. So my mom waited and waited and waited. And. Uh, my, my grandma was nowhere like she wasn't here and it's not like she could call in the cell phone or anything because this was back in 1985 so then um my mom was crying because you know she wanted to have a better life because she said everything in Mexico like they're really really poor so my mom was like okay I have to go so my mom left um I, I have a video on where how she crossed the border and everything it's really interesting it, it sounds like a novella like she told me how how they left her in an old in an old abandoned house and how she ran away and whoop de whoop. So, anyways, my mom when she came to to America, she went to Oxnard and she was working and shit. And um, my my sister was raised with my grandmother, and my grandfather. So all my all her life, she didn't have a mom or a dad. So my mom, my sister was very resentful. And at the end, she got with her first boyfriend or whatever. But they've been having a really hard time because there's no work in Michoacan. There's full of fucking narcos. And there's a lot of violence. I've had a fucking cousin fucking killed, like, from the narco thing. And um, so now my sister's having a hard time and her husband can't find work. So my brother, um, yeah, he's my brother-in-law, like, is across the border. 
and I was like freaking out because with all this going out going on crossing the border right now isn't it like dangerous as fuck but anyways um I want to say thank you to my cousin Rogelio for you know being there supporting my sister you know helping him to cross the border because if he gets better if he gets a job if he's successful you know makes his money guess who who wins my sister and a lot I know a lot of people are against fucking immigrants and what do we want but sometimes motherfuckers just want a better life for themselves if my mom wouldn't cross the border your girl wouldn't be here so i really love this country and i have nothing against it but this country is built by immigrants that's what motherfuckers don't get and all this war and all this bullshit right now we're supposed to love each other and support each other and stop it with that fucking hate porque porque crees que shit happens sometimes porque god is like mm, you motherfuckers over there fighting over race over hate over da 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 now I'm gonna scare you motherfuckers for real, for real, with this corona shit. So, this time for loving and shit, and I'm gonna show you the piloncillo. It's like hard, but it melts really quick. So, as soon as it melts a little bit more, I'm gonna throw the, the rice in there. And mira el arroz. Mira que chula. I'm telling you, when you wash it, it gets softer. I know, I know a lot of us. You're like, really, bitch, why are you watching the damn rice? Pero te digo que ahorita todos nos tenemos que lavar el culo, la panocha, todo, todo morocho. Porque, you know, los tiempos están muy, no sé cómo se dice, scary. So I've been talking a lot of Spanish and I didn't even notice. But I hope to some of you motherfuckers, you guys learn, you know. Because you know what? I love it. I love it. I love it love 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 it when i go to like let's say like a doctor's office like with my mom and my mother-in-law because my mom has back problems my mother-in-law has cancer so when we go to like a place and the fucking doctor where she looks all white with blue eyes like you know and then um, i'm over there getting ready for that translation like i got this i'm the savior today and then the fucking white girl's like hola como start today como esta hora um symptoms este like Fucking her, her Spanish all fucked up and shit, but the bitch is trying. I love it. I fucking love it. I, I always give a bitch props. I'm like, oh shit, you get down with that Spanish. You get down with the brown. Mm. And um, she's like, yeah, you know, I have to. I live in California. And I'm like, that's right. That's right. I feel as, you know, if some people are working with a bunch of Latinos, Hispanos or whatever, when they put in that work to speak Spanish is a big deal for me, thank you. Also, when people come to this country, I feel like if you wanna be better and shit, don't be all like, eh, I don't, I'm not gonna learn English. Like learning English is the first step to becoming successful. And I've always told that to people when I meet people, I'm like, no, you gotta learn, you gotta learn that English. You gotta learn how to defend yourself. You know what I'm saying? Porque no, you can't, you're not always gonna have a translator. Me, I've been translating since I was, <laughs> let me tell you my story. I've been translating since I was like eight because when I was five, I didn't know English. I didn't know English seven, no, mm -mm. I learned till I was like eight. And then my mom was like, I'm with my mama's secretary. And I'm gonna put the rice. Yeah, para que empiece a servir. Arroz con leche, me quiero casar. Cause una morenita de la capital. And then we're gonna remix it with the remix mix. I know the piloncillo is that I really. No, but you know what? It gives it flavor, trust me. Hasta bien chingón. Bien chingón. Now, since the piloncillo is melted already, we're gonna just close it for almost 10 minutes. 10, 8 minutes, something like that. Rice is really cooked really fast when it's hot and shit. Then we're going to add the milk and the remix to the remix mix. Sophia came to visit. Came, come, Sophia. Okay. She's like, it smells good up in here. Yeah, it smells so good. Yes, yeah, huh? You can't wait? Yes. What does it smell like? It smells like, what is it? Um, the doll hot chocolate from Gran, Grammy. Abuelita? I want, I want to eat the hot chocolate. You thought I was making hot chocolate? Yes. You're all excited? Yes. <laughs> no, pero arroz con leche is bomb. Skis, skis. It like. is so good. Yes. Also, Sarah, don't worry. I got you. She wanted one of these. Because um, I, cause she says she loves pink. Sarah, I forgot your last name. But I got you, girl. And stay. Also, I wanted to tell you guys, for this, you could also clean this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know my mother-in-law told me. 
este you know sometimes you get little stuff stuck in there you just go like this and it gets all the remix out of there and look it's cute it looks like a little broom it does and also if you get a little trash you can broom it out like this like a little <laughs> i'm good what are those though I have, I've, all my life since I was a little kid, I've always had a bunch of scratches and scars and shit. You know? What the fuck? Oh, I remember when I was getting lemons. Because I was sending a salsa for somebody. Oh, yeah. And they wanted some lemons. No, well, like two people didn't ask for lemons. I just wanted to surprise them. Because, I mean, when I sell, when I sell the salsas, mm -hmm. it's a flat rate free. Flat rate fee. So they're gonna charge me some, some same thing, so might as well put some motherfucking lemons in there. Ooh. We're gonna add the milk. La lechita. Y ya se calmó. It's like all quiet now. Mm. Who would taste so good? What? Um, the, um, agua de rice. Agua de rice? Is that a word that you're making? Arroz con leche. Arroz con leche with a, with, with a coche. With a country, with a punche. You need to practice on your Spanish, girl. And now we're gonna add some lemon. I forgot to tell you guys. Um, lim the skin lemon, lemon skin or whatever. It gives it a lot of flavor, according to science or whatever. So we're just gonna put them bitches in there. Put them bitches and put them hoes. Put them bitches and put them hoes. So it's been boiling like five more minutes. We're gonna add the last cup of. Leshita. Um, so this is up to you. I don't know. Some people like it really, really thick. Some people like it is the watery. I like mine watery because I like to dip the bolillo in it. But either way, it's gonna get thick because like rice expands or some shit. I don't know. I don't really, really know. And I'm gonna add the milk. What the fuck is called lechera? I love lechera with everything, especially with platanos machos, bitch. What the fuck is a spoon, yo? The other spoon had a little red thing on it. I remember my mom used to put nail polish on on her spoons because we've always lived with people. So it was like, oh, man, I hate living with fucking people. Bro, growing up, my ass was so angry. Fucking people were nosy. It's the, my uncle's girlfriends were living with my fucking uncle. They were fucking annoying. But anyways, um... My mom, for the house key, she would put, like, red on it. For the key, the, like, gate or some shit, she would put, like, nail polish, like, blue nail polish. Still, she, I think she still does that. I'm not sure. Okay. So now, we are going to add some vanilla extract. I forgot to to tell you guys about it. But fuck it. Ya te estoy diciendo ahorita. Este, this bitch right here was $25. I know. But, bitch, I, I don't even use it that much. I only use it sometimes. I guess real vanilla has alcohol in it. I don't know. Pero una vanilla cuesta $3. Y la otra cuesta $25. How does that even happen? I guess quality. But it's Mexican. That's the reason I bought it. Because it says Mexican. It's a way. Because it says Mexico in it. Or Mexican in it. Pure vanilla extract. I know people are like, Well, you love Mexico so much. Go back to Mexico. Luego empieza a chingar. Only, only because I love my culture doesn't mean I don't love my country, stupidos. So make sure everything's remixed in there. It smells amazing. Bones. Let me taste it. Mm. It's perfect. It doesn't need no sugar or nothing. Now we're just going to let it finish off. You could take off the lemony things if you want to. It doesn't really matter. But then your kids are going to be like, why you putting lemon on the arroz con leche, mama? And now we're just gonna let it finish off. I think the rice is done. That's five, ten minutes. And then we're gonna put it in my cup. And we're ready. Bitch, bitch, bitch. While we wait, I wanna tell everybody, you know, everybody out there, you know, that if you feel kind of anxious, kind of weird with all this shit going on, um, don't feel scared, don't feel afraid to reach to somebody, talk to somebody, because I feel like when you feel kind of like, you know weird or kind of like anxious the best way to get out of this bullshit is by like um talking to people if you don't have anybody to talk to hit me up you know what i'm saying mario doesn't get jealous mario's cool as fuck he's just like don't be fucking um flirting with anybody i don't flirt with motherfuckers 
I just like to stay, be there for people because it's like we have this one bitch ass life, might as well stay. So please, if you're staying home and shit, just clean one corner of the house and clean another. I feel like cleaning is a really good therapy for that ass. I'm always like, I'm not always cleaning, but when I want to feel good about myself, I clean. Like today I was cleaning the stove and right now se regó la leche. Ooh, ooh, she ready? Mira que chulada. Bitch, bitch, bitch. This like reminds me of me growing up, seriously. My mom would always make it. And yeah, it's amazing. And I got my bolillo waiting for me. I got the hardest bolillo I could find because this is going to make it Lucy, you know what I'm saying? Lucy like that pussy. So here we go, yo. I'm just going to turn it off. Some people like the skin from the top. La no sé cómo se llama. I always forget the damn name. Pero I like it like this. Like watery. I took out the lemon. Pero también este... If you want to take the cinnamon, whatever sticks, you could take them off. This is a good recipe for when your milk is almost going to go bad. Like let's say you have like a day and you have a whole gallon right now that people are hoarding. Because like when you boil it, I don't know. My mom would always do that and we never got sick. So, I don't know. I don't really, really know. It's like poor people shit. Poor people tips. Not poor people. We don't. We just don't like to fucking waste them. Ooh. Mira que chula. I'm going to call Sofia right now. See if she wants to come. She's still making her face mask. So Mario bought them like um, cloth. And their nail kit and a sewing kit. Since they're going to be home a lot right now. They're like staying busy. And I made these pancakes in the morning. So Sofia whenever she wakes up. Because she's be waking up early as fuck. Este ya se los calienta and they're ready. Because she loves pancakes. And bitch these are not even going to be here. Like tomorrow. Like in the afternoon. Sofia's going to make sure they're all eating. And aren't they so cute? And they're fluffy too. I get down with my pancakes too. I get down with my breakfasts. I'm not a really big, huge, like, breakfast person. But I do cook for Mario in the mornings. And um, he's happy, so that's all matters. I just go with him right now though. But anyways, I'm going to do my little thingy. So here we go, yo. It's going to be hot, bitch. So you know what I'm saying? Be careful. Porque you don't want to burn that mouth of yours. I burn my mouth, my tongue. Ugh, not a good motherfucking look, bitch. So anyways, um, don't forget to sign up to my raffle. I know I sound like a motherfucking broken phone, broken alarm. But you know what I'm saying? If you guys want <clears throat> a chance to win a molcajete, este, you guys can go to my PayPal, my Cash App. I'll leave the link motherfucking below. Que mas, que mas? Yes, yeah, 10 bucks to enter. First place is gonna win a molcajete. I'm gonna throw some lemons and a salsa in there. Second place is gonna win the lemons only. Third place is gonna win some motherfucking lemon. Come on, Sofia La Tortilla. Wow. So if you want a chance to win um, a molcajete, salsa, and limones, or limones for that ass, este, get in the raffle. Este, see? See how much I've been through to get those damn limones? You know, um, the lemons, they get flowers. You've seen the flowers, huh, Sofia? Yes. Is they, are you going to try it with me? You want your own little cup or no? Uh, no. You just want to me? You just want to be here? Yes. Okay. And try it with me. And try it with me? Do you want to try the same cup? Yes, I want to try the same cup. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Está bien porque así no se gasta. You know what I'm saying? Está caliente, though. Caliente, caliente. Sí, sí, caliente, caliente. Que caliente. Tiene that is kind of hard the new ones are these ones the old ones are those ones but we also use the bolillos when they're old we put some butter and sugar on them and, huh. we, and we just heat them up because when you heat them up they get soft mm -hmm. you said better than, than hot chocolate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you love hot chocolate Este, I like a little thick, like the, like the milk. I like it thick, but I, don't, I like it like a pudding, but cold. Mommy. Mm. Tomorrow I can't wait because Tito bought me a muffin and this. I'm going to drink this and a muffin, blueberry muffin. She already has a plan. She already has her breakfast plan. But do you see what you have right there in the corner? 
Right here. Oh, I can't wait. Mm hmm. Sophia's the type of girl that she plans her breakfast the day before. When she was like three years old, she had her little backpack. And I'm like, what do you have in your little backpack? She had all kinds of snacks. She had a banana, she had apples, she had a concha. You know the concha wrapped around in aluminum foil? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> See, I just cook. Pero esta, she eats. It's really good. Mm. You little cold? Mm -mm -mm. And I like cooking with you. Do you like cooking with me too? Mm -hmm. mm. I like cooking with you too. Mm. I love my life. I love my motherfucking life. This is really good. Mm -hmm. To the. Mm -hmm. But, anyways, motherfuckers, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. To all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace. Motherfucking. Loud.